I'm going to 100% the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC Wave 3. This means I'll need to win the Rock Cup and Moon Cup with perfect scores for the 150cc, Mirror, and 200cc classes. Also, every Staff Ghost must be beaten in both the 150cc and 200cc time trials. First things first, the choice of character. And since a certain someone gave the weakest wahoo ever... Wahoo! Luigi's getting the spotlight today. Style over substance, baby. The Rock Cup begins with London Loop from Mario Kart Tour. And I've got to say, the city courses kind of all blend together to me. You just drive by a bunch of buildings and mostly stay on the road. Then you get into lap three. The chain chomps have been let loose and now terrorize the locals. London has fallen. Luigi must hate the British if he's celebrating like that. Now let's take a dive into Boo Lake. Since I won the last race, I got to start in first place. My purple drifts were giving me a healthy lead and my jumps were on point. Then lightning struck, which was the beginning of a mess. As I emerged from the water, I slipped on a banana peel, losing my number one spot. A poorly timed bomb exploded me further into sixth place. Mario Kart taketh, but it also giveth the good kind of fiascos. 100% skill, and don't you dare doubt it. Rock Rock Mountain. Is that second rock really necessary in the name? The actual Rock Mountain wasn't as rock as I was expecting it to be. There was quite a bit of gliding. However, don't get too comfortable flying over the cloudy skies. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Coincidentally, at the end of the next lap, the same flyover that put me behind was the same one that leaped me ahead to first place. Maple Treeway. Ah, looks like a great original track from the Wii days. Wait a minute, the DK Cannon? So much for original. As for me, I had my fair share of mistakes that put me in a less than desirable position, but I slowly made a comeback over time. It's too bad they didn't hide anything in those pile of leaves, or so I thought. Surprise, motherfucker. That's first place for all of the Rock Cup. Got my trophy and three stars. Let's check out the other cup in wave three. The Moon Cup, starting with Berlin Byways, which is feeling samey to the London Loop. Don't get me wrong, I ended up enjoying every single racetrack. I just noticed a lot of similarities while going over this footage. I'm not always the most intelligent either. Like I should have not been hit by that blue shell. I had the super horn for crying out loud. I won anyway. Moon Cup's second track is Peach Gardens. A little self-conceited there, princess. Mario's got one too? Man, you all are a bunch of self-absorbed. <gasps> what is that beauty? Well, what is it you want? We want a shrubbery! <laughs> My ego was getting to me. I didn't pay attention to the arrows that the last lap would go in reverse. Good thing I had a huge lead. And now I get to see my shrubbery in its fullest glory. So handsome. You must find another shrubbery. <laughs> Just in time for the holidays, Merry Mountain is here. Along with some bullcrap Christmas magic. I am invincible. Where is Ziggy going? You can drive on the railroad tracks. No matter how different a Koopaling may appear, he will always be welcome with holiday cheer. Ah, crap, I messed it up. And again on the third lap? Whatever, just give me that W. This is the fourth Rainbow Road Mario Kart 8 now has in its collection of tracks. And since I've never played Mario Kart 7, this will be my first time experiencing it. It's definitely unique from the rest of them, especially with much of the road not being connected. And I'm always a fan when the creators make every lap different, rather than the same loop three times. These items look like they are placed to be fall bait. It's a trap! Are you freaking kidding me? Daisy evaded all of those fireballs? I am invincible. Second place? That's my first loss. I still get the trophy, but only earned two stars. So... Here we go again. Move aside, Daisy. I'm taking home the win this time. Three stars mean perfect score, so we're done with 150cc. And we'll move on to Mirror. Now, a lot of these courses I've either never tried or haven't played in many years. So since I'm not familiar with them, I couldn't really tell much of a difference in mirror mode, especially since I've only played them once or twice in the 150cc category. Our rival did change from Daisy to Mario, who was being a pest during Maple Treeway. The computers almost got me to lose my first mirror race because of a blooper, but Rosalina was being an idiot. They even thought they could get me with a blue shell, which I manipulated to attack one of their own. 
<laughs> oh, crud. Still got blown up. Yet I still beat both cups in mirror mode on my first try. Now for 200cc. The faster speed didn't change much for London. For Boo Lake, I did need to use the brakes while drifting the corners. <laughs> Then I blundered in the caves of Rock Rock Mountain. But it was at Maple Treeway where I received my first 200cc loss. Some instances were my fault, and then I got Mario carded for the rest of it. Fourth place, let's run it back. Attempt number two didn't go as planned, so I already got a restart. I was behind again in attempt three, but managed to stylishly cut off my older brother right at the end. I just gotta beat Maple Tree now to close off the circuit. Oh man, this one freaking turn did not make the first lap look promising. The second lap went a lot smoother, but the Piranha Plant speed boost did force me to use the half pipe like jump, when I usually like to drift around the corner to save time. Nevertheless, I came out ahead and took home the gold for the Rock Cup. Okay, you know how I mentioned earlier that Berlin feels samey to London? Well, in 200cc, I feel the difference. It feels crammed with the roadway seeming more narrow than its British counterpart. I mean, just look at this mess. Kind of an unfair win, but I'll take it. Hi! Good morning! Alright, I got this. The perfect jumps. I've been waiting for this! Ah, oh, nuts. Seriously? I can win a stupid race, but the universe won't let me perform the jump of my dreams? Anyways, this rainbow road isn't that bad on 200cc. You just can't be greedy going for every drift boost. Like, just one drift around this whole circle without boosting really paid off. It was still close at the end versus my rival Daisy, but with some tight controls and handling, I took home the win. That's the final Grand Prix for this video, as I've now attained perfect scores for each category. All that's left are the time trials. I actually shouldn't say it like that because this section alone took me almost eight hours to complete. Initially, I thought, how hard could Frank be? Well, at least for a casual player like myself, it's more difficult than I expected. Oh yeah, and I totally forgot you get three mushrooms when doing these time trials. I tried to beat Frank a few times and came to the conclusion I needed to change something. My setup. Though it was fly, it had crappy stats. It was time to shift over to my online main, Morton, and a Weenie Hut Jr. ride. <laughs> So long, plumber boy. <sighs> okay, what do I need to do, Google? Oh no, I've never felt so humiliated in my entire life. Is this what I've become? I'm like one of those Patriot bandwagon fans. I'm someone with no originality. I'm... I'm winning? Okay, okay, it didn't happen that fast. It took about 18 more minutes of practice to finally beat Frank the Mario who works at Nintendo. Now for 200cc, Alice. Ugh, how is she so fast? I'm just gonna do the 200 cc's later. I think the London Loop staff ghosts are just on another level compared to the others because I beat Boo Lake on my first try. Of course, I didn't win every track on my first try because I'm still learning these courses. Like, thanks to the ghost, I now know about this little boost you can get from the pipe. These ones too. 28 minutes later and I barely got the victory as I floated past the finish line. Maple Treeway shouldn't be too bad. Wait a second, where'd Daisy come from? Well, apparently there's this shortcut right at the beginning of the track. Once I figured that out and noticed that the ghost doesn't drift correctly around the turn with the ramp, it was an easy win after only five minutes. Both the Berlin Byways and Peach Garden Ghosts were defeated as well. Then with Mary Mountain, I got worried with how much of an early lead they had, but the staffer rode up the ramp instead of being efficient with their turn, giving me a freebie win. And I don't know what went on during Rainbow Road. I was winning the whole time on my first attempt. Easiest of the 150cc bunch by far. All of 200cc was going to take much longer though. I switched to Baby Daisy to tone down the overwhelming speed that 200cc was about to haunt me with. Staying on that frightening theme, I started with Boo Lake rather than London. Turns out there's a shortcut on the left here I hadn't noticed until now. Getting the timing down for this shortcut was the key to winning this one, especially since the ghost doesn't take it during the first lap. Failure after failure after failure in about 20 minutes of practice, I nailed the shortcut on every lap, which led to success. I skipped Rock Rock Mountain because I just didn't understand how I was losing so badly. I didn't understand why 
why I was losing on Maple Treeway either. Even though I took that turn better than them, they'd eventually creep back up to me. You know what they say, if you can't beat them, join them. When I see them using a heavy character, I'll do the same. After swirling around that gnarly turn again, I actually kept my spot as number one. Back to baby mode in Berlin. With only me being the sole driver, the chaoticness of 200cc isn't felt as much like it did in Grand Prix mode. However, this tree yard was the bane of my existence. I figured saving my mushrooms for it would be best, but they weren't like get out of jail free cards. Being prepared for the drift there took lots of practice. Thankfully, this part only appeared during the second and third laps. And whenever I did get it right, my lead would increase. My mental Berlin wall had been torn down. 200cc Peach Gardens was like its 150cc counterpart. Doesn't have much new to cover. Just took around 18 minutes of practice. And Merry Mountain went even faster. Like the 150cc ghost, the staffer doesn't take advantage of cutting this corner. They stupidly go up the ramp. Rainbow Road was a peculiar one compared to the rest, because there was no shortcut to use your mushrooms for. So I just triggered them during the dole parts. Also, the ghost would take the bottom road after this jump instead of the aerial route, which I'm pretty sure is the faster way as long as you make it through all of the rings. I'll take this small victory though because London still awaited me. Man, I hated this so much. I spent almost two hours on this level alone. Guys and gals, I'm getting anxiety just from watching over this footage and the pain. Oh, there was real pain. My index finger was screaming for a break, but I just couldn't give up. If you want to know the hell Alice from Nintendo will bring into your life, give this one a whirl. Unless you're some kind of pro or something I don't know. So instead of reliving those horrible memories that I wish I could erase from my brain, let me just show you how I beat it and keep in mind that this took countless attempts. The first must is to start building a drift boost before crossing the yard with the chain chomp. That way you only use one mushroom and the turbo boost to make it across without losing time. Then when you get to the second chain chomp, you're gonna go for one of those coveted purple ultra turbo boosts. Not done yet. Jump up the stairs during another drift. When you get back to that second chain chomp, use a mushroom to cut through the grass and go for the purple again. These moments weren't the only things that contributed to the win here. Execution needed to be near perfect when gathering coins and going around turns. And if you're lucky enough, you'll win by only seven hundredths of a second. I seriously hated every second talking about the 200cc London Loop time trial. There still remained one though, Rock Rock Mountain. This one only took an hour and was far less stressful. Losing still sucks, but at least I could see my opponent the entire race, which gave much less of a heavy mental burden to overcome. Since I wasn't far behind the Nintendo employee, I copied his card setup, figuring if Juliet can do it with that, so can I. There are three key moments that I felt impacted the race atop the mountain. First was making it through the cave efficiently without crashing. Second was flying off this ramp, then timing the mushroom boosted drift just right. I like that boulder. That is a nice boulder. And third, I had no idea how to improve the final gliding segment. Somehow the ghosts always flew faster than me and this is where they would always catch up. Not knowing how to fix that problem, I had to make sure the other key moments went perfectly. Even the tiniest mistake would be detrimental. Eventually the run I needed came along. My inputs were finally consistent and paying off. It was still down to the wire as I was neck and neck with Juliet. She pulled ahead during the last lap, but I wasn't about to give up. With a time just three hundredths of a second in front of Juliet's, I had 100%ed the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC Wave 3. Like the video, subscribe for more content like this, and thank you to my patrons, YouTube members, and Twitch subs. You all have a good one. Thanks.